What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You might have seen it earlier this week. We posted the build video of this beautiful hickory countertop. I feel bad I didn't spend a lot of time on how we seal and finish this wood countertop. I had a few people message me and say, hey, we wish that you sent a little bit more information on that last video. So here it is. We have a whole video dedicated on sealing this wood countertop with 100% natural finishes to be fully waterproof. And uh, it's something you could do either on a new countertop or a countertop you already have. Come check it out. Alrighty, so like I just said, we built this hickory countertop last week. You saw the video maybe, if you didn't, go back and check it out. I'll post a card up here in the corner for you, so go check out that video. You may also have a wood countertop, whether you bought a product from a big box store like Home Depot or Lowe's or Ikea. You might have had it in your house for quite a while and it's getting dry and it feels rough. And you're like, how do I refinish this stuff without using a toxic chemical finish I wanna use something natural because I'm eating off the surface, doing food prep on the surface. Well, you guys, this is how. You've seen pretty much all of our videos of building furniture. We're always using Odie's Oils lines of oils. And so what we have here today, and you might've seen it, we're actually gonna post a clip in here of me doing the first uh, coat of finish in the shop, is we used the Odie's Oil Super Penetrating Oil. This was the first oil that we used on the raw wood. The super penetrating oil is gonna do exactly what it, its name says. It's gonna penetrate the grain and the surface of the material to entirely saturate the pores and the grains of the wood. We've let it dry now for about 48 hours and we're gonna come back over and we're gonna put at least one coat but maybe two coats of Odie's Oil Universal Finish and Polish, all right? So we're gonna use both of these oils together, super penetrating first, and the Universal Finish and Polish on top, and we're gonna get basically a waterproof finish that is 100% natural and non-toxic on this wood countertop. Obviously, this is hickory. We built this by hand but it would totally work for some of those products like we talked about that you may already have in your house. A couple of things that we're gonna need for applying this to the wood is obviously these Scotch-Brite pads. Odie's Oil sells them on their website. We'll post a link down in the description, but you can also buy them at a hardware store or a home goods store in your area. The white color uh, pad is the one that we use, and technically it is a no-grit pad, but you're just gonna wanna use a pad that is a higher grit than the last sanding that you did on it. Our last sanding was 320 grit. You could use something like the 500 grit, which I think is the light gray color pad. The white one is just the one that we use. We've been really happy with it. The other thing you'll need is a stir stick. And for us, we're just gonna touch up the countertop with a little bit more 320 grit sandpaper. So we're gonna dive right into this uh, and get the second coat of finish on here right now. So when we put the first coat of finish on this hickory, we had a little bit of what's called grain raise. And that's basically when you're introducing moisture to dry wood, the, the, the uh, grain in the wood kind of just stands up. So it's really, really smooth, but you can just feel kind of a little bit of abrasive quality on the top of the counter. And what we're gonna do is just lightly hand sand down the countertop with the grain to just smooth that out right before we put our next coat of oil on. This is actually a great uh, kind of circumstance we're in to help teach you if you have a old and dry countertop, it'll feel, you know, kind of similar to this where it has just, you feel it, it being really dry, you feel the grain kind of standing up. So this is like the exact same application you might have in your home uh, if you already have a wood countertop that's been in there for a while. So like I said, we're just going to take 320 grit sandpaper and we're just gonna kind of go with the grain just by hand and really we're not doing too much pressure 
we're just kind of smoothing everything out. And I'm just going with the grain up and down real carefully. And already that's just brought the whole surface back to really flat and really, really smooth. All right, so that feels really pretty good to me. We're just getting our hands on the countertop, making sure we're feeling all the areas that we felt like had that grain raise, but that looks and feels really super smooth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back through. We just have a clean uh, you know, cotton rag and we're just wiping down any of the dust. And this is just a totally dry rag, it has no water on it or anything. And we're just wiping off any of the dust that might be left on the surface here, making sure we're all nice and clean. Alrighty, so like I'd said, and we'll post the clip right here, we put on the first coat of super penetrating oil in the shop before we had even brought the countertop over. That was just a few days ago. We gave it, I think it's been three days now since we put the countertop in place. Make sure you give the wood at least 48 hours between coats of oil. This will just make sure that the first coat of oil uh, had enough time to fully dry and penetrate and saturate the wood without putting another one on top of it, which may create an adverse uh, effect with the two oils combining while not fully dry. So first was the super penetrating oil. Now we have the universal finish and polish. What we'll do is we'll crack this open. And I just have my clean stir stick. I cut these stir sticks off of off cuts from our table saw. This is just a chunk of white oak, totally clean. And instead of just throwing it away, I cut up a pile of stir sticks. It might be something you just keep in mind for future use. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna stir this up. And again, like a lot of Odie's oils, it has a pretty thick consistency, similar to honey. So we wanna get this thing really well mixed up until it's kind of flowing a little bit better. See how thick it is right here. It's gonna keep mixing it up. When the jar settles, it's uh, a little bit more transparent. And then as you mix it up, you'll see it become just a bit more cloudy. We're just kind of stirring it pretty aggressively. And again, now it's running off just a bit smoother off of our stir stick. We'll give it just a little bit more here. Again, if you guys have never used Odie's oil, we have a, a, a link in the description down below just to their website, as well as the links to the two products that we're using on this wood countertop. And make sure that you don't get too much sticker shock when you go to the website and you see the prices on the jars. Most of the finishes come in smaller jars, uh, smaller quantities. We buy the large jars because we use it literally on almost every piece of furniture that comes out of the shop. This stuff goes a really long way. It has a massive square foot coverage even compared to full gallons of urethane finish. And I tell you what, it is probably the best finish that we have found across the board on all of the hardwood furniture that we build. So when I started doing research, and we'll post a little clip in here of the floating vanity build, that was actually the first YouTube video that we had created. That floating vanity was sitting in an open bathroom with two uh, vessel sinks up on top of it. And I was really curious if I was gonna put Odie's oil to the test of being fully waterproof. I called Odie's oil, they have awesome, awesome customer service. And I talked to a guy there that said, hey look, put this on it. It's gonna last for a really long time and it's also gonna be easy to refinish in the future. I'm really glad I did because it literally just set off that project. So if you haven't seen it, go take a look at that video, but we'll post a little clip in here uh, right now of just some shots of that. If it can stand up in a bathroom where it's close to moisture and water all the time, it can stand up on this little kitchenette, you know, mini bar countertop. All right, so we got this well mixed up. It's flowing right off the stir stick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our applicator pad and we don't even really need this much. I'm just gonna make a quick cut and just get kind of like a two by two square 
really all that I need. And all I'm gonna do right here is just take some Odie's oil straight off of the stir stick. It's gonna kind of load that pad up and it might not seem like a lot, but this is gonna get us a long ways. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start in here in a circular motion with quite a bit of pressure behind it. And we're just working the Odie's oil into the wood grain. Alrighty, so we just got that coat entirely uh, applied to the top of the countertop here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this sit in here for about 30, 45 minutes. We're gonna come back again with our clean cotton rag and wipe it all down. We're just gonna wipe the excess off. Another really awesome thing about Odie's Oil, and I have just endless good things to say about this product, is really once you wipe down the countertop, or the piece of furniture 30, 45 minutes after you apply it, it's pretty much ready to be handled right away. Um, especially because it's non-toxic, it's not gonna mess with your hands very much, it's not, it doesn't, it's not gonna mess with you uh, in any negative way. And so we're just gonna let this sit, wipe it down, and this thing will pretty much be waterproof. We're gonna let it sit for a full 48 hours before really doing anything with it, just to make sure this thing dries up and, and sets up really, really well. But it's gonna let it sit, wipe it down here in just a few. Alrighty, so we've waited about 45 minutes since we put this top coat on. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab our clean rag and we're just gonna wipe down the excess oil on the top of the piece here. When your rag feels like it's getting loaded up or saturated with the oil, just kind of refold it, get to a nice clean spot or pick a new rag and keep wiping it down. So right here, there's really no rhyme or reason to it. Just kind of taking any of the excess off the top and you'll see it just kind of even out just as we're we're doing this. And again, I'm applying pressure because, you know, really, you're just actually kind of buffing the finish as you're doing this by hand. One thing about Odie's oil is you'll also get a pretty good workout while applying it. If you're not, you know, sweating or breathing, you're probably not pressing hard enough and moving quick enough on your uh, buffing of your rag or applying with the pad. Alrighty, so that is it for sealing wood countertops. Just to reiterate, we had the Odie's Oil Super Penetrating Finish as the first coat, gave it 48 hours to dry, came back through with the universal finish and polish on top of it for a second and a third coat. We didn't shoot the third coat, but we got a third coat on here. It is fully waterproof. It is a hot day. I tell you what, I am glad that we're, oh no. Oh my gosh, we just got water all over the place. You know what? Not even worried about it. It's 100% waterproof. Well, maybe not 100%, but it's pretty dang waterproof, especially for using something that is non-toxic, is totally food safe. If you can get a close up of this, you can see the water is just beaded up right on top, not saturating through. It's not even leaving marks. You come back through with just a regular kitchen rag and you just dry it up. You just sop it up just like this. Boom, it is all gone. Not even worried about it. You guys, Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful or inspiring in any way, please hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next one.